That was our little home for last night. Some lovely chalets here. The place is called Ictus, Ictus Lake. And it's down near the Spanish border. It's about an hour from the Spanish border. And this is one end of the complex. It's quite a big complex. Some lovely chalets. There's lots of chalets up behind where you can't see there. That is uh, the main clubhouse area. There's a restaurant there, taco shop and everything. There's a lake here. It's not the, uh, the carp lake. This is actually the trout and sturgeon lake. But beyond that over there is the carp lake and that's where we'll be going soon. So we'll catch up with you when we, when we start to get set up. First morning in, in the swim and uh, looking good. No fish yet but the rods are out and there's a load of fish showing out there beyond where my baits are, just beyond the markers. There's all sorts of bars and humps out there. Um, fishing, well I've got the baits on tops of some bars out there in about 13 foot. It drops down to about 20, 21 foot most of the bottom uh, and there's all sorts of humps and bumps out there but there's three sort of separate humps out there where I've got markers on and hopefully that'll produce some fish but there's certainly plenty out there. Right, off the mark anyway. Oh, it's not a big fish, but um, nice 28 and a half pound mirror. Typical of these Ictus carp, they're, they're lovely fish, beautiful condition. Scrap lot of good as well. And uh, well, yesterday evening, I thought I'd change two rods because fish were out there, but um, they, they didn't seem to want it on top of the features. I had both, both of the rods that I changed, they were actually on top of humps in about 12, 13 foot, and they weren't going off. Um, so all I did was move them down the back into about 15 foot, where it was still firm on the bottom before it got to the sort of soft mucky stuff and there's plenty of that out there and uh, you know that obviously did the trick both rods that I moved both of them went off uh, the first one was cut off unfortunately couldn't do nothing about that but disappointing uh, and then the other one went off with this one on the end so um, it's, you know it sort of shows you just got to get it right really only moved them a little bit but it was what they wanted and uh, I say we're off the mark so that's good Lovely October morning this morning. Still plenty of green on the trees down this way. Actually had to move a swim. Um, it was pretty quiet. The, the fish seemed to be gathered all at one end of the lake at the moment. So I've had to move a swim down to where they are. And there's certainly a lot more fish in this area. Seems like half the lake's sort of devoid of fish and the other half is where they all are so we're now on where they are and there's been plenty showing out here and uh, it's quite deep out there most of it's quite deep water about 19 20 foot there's one little feature a little bar that runs in towards me that's more over to the right out this way um, got a rod on that anyway but there's been fish showing all around the swim Dennis who was in this swim last week did pretty well he had a 55 mirror and a few others a couple of 40s and a few other 30s out of this swim so it looks a reasonable swim to move into early days but feel confident here anyway and it looks good
Mm -hmm. Well, uh, fortunes have turned around a little bit anyway. It was, it was a slow start to the week. Um, we was over the other side in swim 12, and although I thought it was going to be a decent swim, the fish just weren't there really. We had one and lost a couple, but it wasn't quite what I was expecting. Um, but thankfully, owner Jeremy, being the nice guy he is, when the swim came free over this side, swim free, he offered it to us and uh, it seemed like a better option so we came across and it's been all right. We had one yesterday, uh, one yesterday evening which got the, the battle on film but it was a bit too late to uh, video the fish unfortunately but it was an eventful night. had three fish in the night, um, two 30s, a 31 and a 32 and this one which was the target for the trip of uh, 53 and a quarter. Absolute stonking mirror really really pleased with this one like I say it was the target for the trip and uh, last fish of the night just came this morning a little while ago we just waited for the sun to come up to video him properly but uh, came from the, the same spot it's been one little spot on just the side of a hump out there I've been uh, putting a bit of scope at squid out and, and this one come on a little scope at squid snowman a uh, little 15 mil boilie with a 10 mil pop up, just down in about 12, 13 foot. Good old scrap this one, and didn't realise it was this big. But like I say, target fish for the trip. 50, it was a 50 pounder, 53 and a quarter. Job done. So anything else is a bonus. But well pleased with this one. As usual, nothing too technical in the old rig front. Uh, little snowman, 15 mil scope squid bottom bait. That's a little monster squid purple 10 mil topper there. Usual thing for me, slightly bigger hook than you know what might seem normal for a, a hook bait of that size, but. Um, I'm a, a big fan of sort of larger hooks if you like, I, I prefer a larger hook, feel more confident once I, I'm playing a fish and uh, don't seem to bother the fish at all, you know, they, they certainly don't mind picking up bigger hooks I've found in anyway. So uh, that's simply enough, it's £25 missing link, we've just, you can see that last couple of inches there of the coating's been removed, a little bit of cling on putty about halfway up the hook length there just to hold it down and you know that's about it this one's only going uh, a few yards out from the margin I've got a nice margin up to my left so I'm just going to plonk that one out there and put plenty of these round got plenty of these they've been drying all week in the sun uh, the weather's starting to take a little turn for the worse at the moment but I've got these dry anyway but that's my little scope X squids um, they're 15 mils but as they dry out in the sun they tend to shrink a little bit so they're probably nearer 12 mils but um, they go back to their original size once they've been in the water a little while but I'll be putting plenty of them out and uh, that little one's going to go on top of them and hopefully do the job lovely morning here again had plenty of rain through the night but we've got three days of sunshine forecast now which is nice and uh, got nice fish to show you in a minute and the, the problem with a lot of these big lakes is people think that you've got a fish a long way out either to the middle or a lot of cases to the far side and especially when you've got the use of a boat in every swim people tend to use it to the extremes most times and you know they've got to use a boat and they've got to go as far as they can well um, one I had this morning was the best one I've had so far 53 and a half pound it literally come from these margins just out here if I throw a couple of baits out see them land about there that's about where it is just about a rod length out and about eight foot of water a bit of weed down there a little clear spot just beyond um, it's not been an action spot it's it, that rod's been out there since Saturday and it's now Wednesday morning so it's been fishing since that time so it's you know it hasn't it's only produced the one bite, but importantly, it's produced the biggest fish. So, there we go. It ain't always the long range rods that do the big fish. In this case, it's been the short range rod. And, uh, 
yeah, it's a lovely fish anyway, so just get that out in a minute and show you. Lovely fish this one. These big fish have been something else, they really have. So best of the trip by a few ounces this one, 53 and a half. And uh like I say, just from the margins, oh it done it. Have to be right out in the middle. And this one was it, it was just in the edge. On the same presentation, little monster squid snowman. But just down the edge. It rattled off a lot of good and, and fought a lot of good as well. And absolutely cracking fish, these ictus carp. Absolutely fantastic, perfect condition, the mouth's lovely, and uh, they fight like goodness. Yeah, there we go. Time to put that. Lovely fish, anyway. Well pleased with that one. Cracking fish, God, epic battle, absolute epic battle, screaming take, and because uh, I suppose everything starts from the margin, you know, you get the full fight, and uh, it was a good fight. A lovely fish, big sort of grey colour mirror, and uh, God, I mean, really, what what started off as, as a slow session, it started off looking like one of those sessions that nothing was going to go right, and now, um, well, everything is going right basically. 350s in the last four days, I think. Running out of time now, there's only a couple of days left, but um, it doesn't matter now. Anything was a bonus after the first 50. And now I've had three, um, anything really is a bonus. But it's been a great session, whatever happens. I love this place. Ictus Lake is a fantastic lake, and we've had a great time here without the fish, but of course, with things like this, it just makes it even better. Anyway, my arms are aching, so we're getting back. Make a nice cup of tea, I think. A nice cup of tea.